Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and today I'm going to be doing a video that's inspired by a TikTok trend that I've been seeing a lot of, which is which brands I think are worth it and why. Now for this video, I've kind of put together a collection of items that I have that I think are really worth the price point. Now I tried to select brands that were a little bit pricier, so maybe ones that you'd be going back and forth on rather than like your most affordable items, as well as things that I've either purchased and repurchased or have like a collection of. So I haven't picked anything that I just have one item from that brand. I have <laughs> multiple items from each of these brands. So I think that that kind of sets up a good basis of where the value lies. I think maybe you could get like a false perception if you've only used one item from a brand. I also want to kind of give a disclaimer that these are the things that I think are worth their price tag. And I know that everyone's perception of value is so different. But for me personally, I think that with a clothing items if you can get one wear for a dollar so for instance if you buy a pair of jeans and they are a hundred dollars if you can get a hundred wears out of those jeans I think that that is fantastic value and kind of flipping that to a more affordable item if you're getting a five dollar shirt and you can only wear that item you know three or four times before it starts getting holes in it and you need to replace it and if you're replacing with items that are at those lower cost points is it potentially more worth it to invest and in, you know with those items potentially the implications that each of them have and where that sits for you and your priorities so I hope that this kind of provides an insight with these higher priced items why I purchased them and why I think that they're really worth it if you find this video helpful at all please drop it a like comment and subscribe it means the absolute world to me I love making fashion content on here so if you enjoyed this sort of thing follow along there will be plenty more videos like it and with that let's jump into the brands so for our first brand I have a very large stack of stuff from Levi's now this stack of <laughs> jeans is absolutely huge and now this is also very heavy <laughs> these are all different cuts of their jeans I've loved Levi's for the longest amount of time these also aren't all new products so some of them are vintage and getting secondhand wear out of something I think really does tell a story about the quality of this product and I think most people know that Levi's are a fantastic product and the quality is pretty unmatchable by a lot of other denim brands so I think that I'd really love to do a more in-depth video about each one of these pairs of jeans, but I'll kind of separate them out. Starting off with the new pairs, these are all the Levi's ribcage straight ankle jeans. This is my favorite cut of jean that they do. And I just really, really love how these jeans sit on my hips as well as my waist. There's not too many other pairs that they currently have in their line that sit on my waist in the way that I really like. I'm not the biggest fan of 501 purely because they just don't sit on me the best I guess the distance between my hips and my waist is a little bit more significant than what I think that the 501s are built for which I think is maybe a little bit more of a straight up and down sort of fit and personally I've just found that these fit me a lot better some of them do have stretch so these ones have a tiny bit so they're 1% elastane but some of the other ones are 100% cotton so there is options for different people these ones here are an example of the 100% cotton I kind of prefer the fit with a little bit of elastane because as soon as you wash your jeans they are a little bit tighter and I find that the little bit of elastane is flattering as well as quite comfortable especially for a pair of jeans also for my new pairs I do have two pairs of shorts here and these are also the rib cage fit so similar fit to the jeans but just cropped of course I did find that I needed to size up in these ones because they were a little bit more snug than the jeans in my experience and now for the vintage ones I have these four here and a couple of these I believe are 512s so I think that the fit in like the hips and waist area between the 512s and the rib cage are kind of similar I'm not a Levi's expert so do not quote me on that but I do think that they're kind of similar if you have a body type that suits the rib cage perhaps the 512s are a good vintage option for you and I think that being able to have these vintage pairs that are like perfectly perfectly intact is just a testament to why I think that these jeans are worth it these jeans a lot of them are 20 30 years old more than that perhaps and I think that that just goes to show you will get your money's worth when you purchase a pair of Levi's for the most part and I know that there's kind of the argument things aren't made the way they used to anymore but I haven't had any issues with my new ones and with new I mean ones that I've even bought like 
five, six years ago with some of them as well, and they're all perfectly intact, just like the vintage ones, and I think that they are absolutely a brand that's worth your money. Now for a little bit of a newer brand, I have Skims. Now I just started kind of building my Skims collection, but have already gone back for more when I've done my purchases, but pretty much everything that I have bought there has been on sale. So using that to kind of justify why I think that it's worth its price is I've shopped their sales and have gotten amazing deals and think that at the sale price, these items are beyond worth it. And to be quite honest, I think that at their full price, they're worth it as well. So first item is their cotton jersey tees. Now this is the mineral color. I got this in an extra small and I think that these t-shirts are so beautiful. There's so much stretch. They're really form fitting and super flattering. I think that these are a great layering piece. They're a great everyday piece. I've worn them to work. I've worn them casually. I really, really love these t-shirts and they're not see-through. I know that some people say that the fits everybody is a little bit more sheer, but these cotton jersey tees are, you know, just the perfect t-shirt in my opinion. I have it in this mineral color as well as the kyanite and I'm not really a blue girl. I don't own too much blue besides the <laughs> crazy amount of jeans that I just showed. But like when it comes to tops, I really don't have too many blue tops at all. And I think that this color is so stunning. To me, it really complemented my hair color. Well, I really, really love this tee. Now, the next item I think is my favorite from the Skims collection, which is the scoop neck bralette. Oh my god, <laughs> these bralettes are the most comfortable bralettes that I've ever tried. They are just, they're just amazing. I got these in a size small and the amount of stretch that these have, they're so forgiving. They're so, so comfortable. You can wear them to sleep. They are so, they are just the comfiest bras ever. I have it in this bright color as well as this nude and I think that both of these are just amazing. I've worn this one so, so, so frequently. I think that I have gotten my money's worth and will keep getting my money's worth because they're still both in just perfect immaculate condition. I haven't had any pilling issues. They're still that beautiful soft fabric. It's smooth, it's buttery. These are so comfortable. I could not recommend these more. So this bralette here, I believe this is the Fits Everybody bralette. It is a little bit too small for me. It is the first one that I ever purchased from Skims and I found that bralettes, they're small seem to fit me a little bit better. But in saying that, this is still very comfortable because of the amount of stretch that it has. I just would prefer to size up a little bit more for the cup size. Moving to another brand now is Uniqlo. Now, Uniqlo definitely is not the priciest. It's not the priciest of what I've just shown, but I think that for an affordable brand, this one is where you're going to get your absolute value for money because I think the wares that I've had with these items of clothing has far exceeded that kind of $1 per wear mark, especially with their trousers. And because it's workwear, it doesn't really date or age in the way that, you know, a trendy piece would, which makes the quality as well as the style for the price point that you're getting really, really phenomenal in my opinion. I constantly get asked questions about where my Uniqlo stuff is from, but I love my Uniqlo pieces. I style them so frequently over on TikTok as well even though they're like more workwear style, I get away with doing like so many dark academia looks or like kind of dressed up looks too. So just showing what I have, these are the favorites from Uniqlo. So <laughs> these are two pairs of trousers. They unfortunately no longer make them, but these are like their wide leg trousers and they have that stretchy band in the back. And then they have the flat sort of band in the front, which isn't as stretchy, but still very, very comfortable. These trousers are as comfortable as pajama pants. You could wear them all day. You could wear them to so many different things and they are literally the most comfortable as well as flattering pair of trousers that I own. They were between 45 and 60. They would not have been more than 60. And I've gotten so much use out of these. I've now had them for a couple of years and they do not look worn. They don't look tattered. They're still fully intact. I love these trousers. I have them in the gray as well. They're just phenomenal. They're so good and they're so comfortable. Another thing from Uniqlo that I think is very, very worth it is their tees. I know that everyone loves their tees and the material that their tees are made with. And I'm actually wearing one, so I have the black one on. And then just a simple white one as well. Perfect staple basics. They are comfortable. They have room to move. They're not too fitted. You can pair these with a pair of jeans and just look crisp and clean because they don't, like they're a little bit wrinkled. I'm not gonna lie, like it's not, perfectly flat, but it keeps its shape. So they're not looking like saggy or like stretched out. They like keep their shape really well, which I found that other kind of affordable t-shirts tend to wear and tear over time in the way that these kind of hold up against. So I love these t-shirts. I 
even put them in the dryer and they hold up this way as well. Last thing from Uniqlo, just super quick, is their blouses. So for work, if you are newly entering the workforce and need to just grab a couple of great basics that aren't going to blow your bank, their blouses are so good. And I think that they're comfortable and they're flattering and you know, very timeless. You can't go wrong with a white blouse. And this one's a great one. It's comfortable, it's flowy. I live in Queensland, so it gets very, very hot and humid. And this is still comfortable to wear both in winter and summer. Moving past clothes now, I want to talk about a couple of accessories. So of course the value metric of $1 per use or per wear is not going to apply here. First and foremost, if you live in Australia, you will probably know what this brand is, but if you don't, I'm not sure how popular they are elsewhere, but glass house candles. <laughs> so these candles kind of blow every other brand out of the water. If you have a glass house candle on, like you will smell it through the house. I have one on behind me and I have some going in the living room and trust me when I say that they just, they smell so good. Their products are amazing. I love their candles. I have so many. I honestly think I have about 10 in the house and you know, obviously not all of them are being used, but I love their stuff, especially like their warm, like baked smells. So here I have their gingerbread house so this is one of their christmas ones this year and this smells like christmas to me i think that it's such a warm smell there's a bit of like cinnamon of course it's gingerbread so cinnamon cookie just like baked goodness and this one is caramel crunch i believe this was a limited edition one um it's very similar to their very popular taha candle which if you've gone into a peter alexander store that's the smell it's <laughs> this brand's taha candle, I believe if they haven't changed it. I just know that that's like the, the tail <laughs> with that scent, but everyone's so familiar with it. I just love these candles. I think that they give every other brand a run for their money and they are made in Australia, which I think is really cool. Now for a brand that I think that most people would just walk by and just go, oh, their price point's too high. I'm probably not gonna look at it. Value's probably not there, is Aesop. Now I really like Aesop. And why I do is because I feel like whenever I use any single one of their products, I immediately feel like it's like a spa experience. <laughs> now that might be because of the use of like essential oils in their products. I know not everyone likes that sort of thing, but if it is something that's up your alley, to me, it's a very like calm, soothing brand. And I just love using them in my routine. So I just have a couple of like little things from them. I've never invested in like a full like ecosystem of skincare, but little touches around the house, I think just kind of give a very like serene feel. I know that's a very odd thing to say, but to me it's very worth it because I've just thought that it's a nice, pleasant feeling. <laughs> so I've continued to invest in their products. I really love them and I think that they also look beautiful. Um, I know that's not everything, not everyone cares about packaging or the look, but I really like the look of their products. So even leaving them out here and there, I think looks really nice too. So with that is like their soap. I really love this. I think that it's just a beautiful scent and kind of just adds that little touch of luxury into a very mundane washing hand experience. Another thing of theirs that I really love is their fragrance. So I have two here. This bottle is pretty much completely empty. This was their Marrakesh Intense. And then I also have another one that my partner was gifted for Christmas and all of their stuff is unisex, which is really great. I did also find that the lasting power of this fragrance was actually really great. And I didn't really expect that coming from this one here. I thought that this lasted pretty much all throughout the day. And if I was putting an item of clothing that I had sprayed this on even into the laundry like a few days later, I could still smell this, which I think is really, really impressive for, you know, a fragrance that's not necessarily from a typical fragrance brand, I guess. Here's a couple other items that I have from them. Both of these ones were gifts. That's another thing when it comes to Aesop stuff is I feel like it's a really great gift idea. So I think that this one, as well as the glass house candles that I mentioned before, both of these brands I think make for fantastic gifts, especially around like Christmas and Valentine's Day. I think both of these you can't really go wrong. Okay, and now last but not least is the most affordable brand out of all of these items that I've just shown. And I'm talking very specifically to one thing that this brand makes which is Muji and their stationery. So I love Muji stationery. I will seek out a Muji store if it is in a city that I'm traveling and I will go there to stock up on pens. Only up until kind of recently did they ship to Brisbane. So whenever I would go to Sydney or Melbourne, I would always go to the Muji store and stock up on their pens. I just really, really love their stuff and it's quite affordable. 
for what it is. I've had this pencil case for what it is now probably four or five years and you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not broken at all. It's a bit dirty because I haven't cleaned it, but all of their stuff holds up really well. You can get refills for the pens so that you're not, you know, throwing out the plastic outside all of the time. I just really love their stationery. I think it is simple and clean and gets the job done. It makes me feel organized, but I think that this is very worth the money. I think that having nice stationery and like stuff to work with motivates you to want to study more. It does in my experience anyway, and I think that this is a great brand for that. Also to touch on how affordable it is, like this notebook was only $2 and I think that the pens are only a couple of dollars each. So we're really talking like the price point of Kmart stationery as well for something that I think is, you know, great quality. My Muji pens last like through the year. I don't have to replace them often. Many of those I've had for a couple of years. I think that is just a fantastic stationery brand. So that's all of the brands. I have had a really positive experience with all of these brands in the past from purchasing them to receiving the order or going in store, whatever it may be. And the wear with all of them, I really have not had really any issues with any of these brands. So that's just why I wanted to touch on all of them, even though it's kind of a jumbled mess of what type of products I'm talking about here. But I think that all of them are worth your time or worth looking into if you are considering purchasing from any of these brands. Personally, I'd say go for it. I think that all of them are great. If you found this video helpful, please drop it a like, comment, and subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.